from what we could gather, early in the evening on April 10th, the four kids were at the Aurora Mall. They were at the arcade. They were playing different games. At one point, one of them handed out these three weapons. They were intent on committing some type of crime that night. Chris was a completely innocent bystander who just happened to go in to use an ATM. They didn't say a word to him. They used him as a target. And so cold-blooded about it. Things moved really quickly. They were all found guilty. Curtis Brooks was guilty of felony murder. It's a mandatory life without parole sentence. He didn't aim a gun at anyone, and he didn't shoot anyone. But now, based on the US Supreme Court's decision that life without parole sentences for juveniles is unconstitutional, Curtis Brooks will be resentenced. He should not get a second chance for this. Chris's family doesn't get a second chance. I don't get a second chance. I think those four should do uh, all life in prison and never see the outside of those bars. I have had to fight for him to keep them where they are since the day they were put in prison. I've written so many letters. They don't realize what they do to these families who thought they closed that part of that book. They took a life. You need to spend life in prison without parole. He'd absolutely deserve to go to prison. How would he deserve to be? That day on April 10, 1995, I was homeless. And I met some guys that offered me a place to stay. They told me that they had a car, but they made the comment, don't trip on how we get it. I wasn't a stupid kid. I knew what it meant. We were going to go take a car. I didn't have a sense that somebody was going to die. Here we go, part two of the resentencing. Only sentence that would bring justice is no more than 30 years. You're basically saying if you kill somebody, we can only hold you to a certain, you know, you're not gonna be in there for life. So where is the justice? Please be seated. All right, this is uh, the case of the people of the state of Colorado versus Curtis Brooks. Obviously, we're set for a resentencing hearing today, but late yesterday, the people filed a petition pursuant to Rule 21. I have faith in the judicial system, and I have hoped that the courts would correct this severe sentencing disparity, but we have applied for clemency on behalf of Curtis Brooks, and we've asked that the uh, governor, Governor Hickenlooper, grant Curtis clemency and to correct this severe sentencing disparity himself. Clemency is where the governor can commute or reduce a defendant's sentence. Like, I can only imagine, like, how Curtis must be feeling, like, this waiting and waiting and waiting. All of you, he's been waiting for... 24 years. 24 years. 24 years. 24 calendar years is too long for a 15-year-old who didn't hurt or kill anyone. And certainly, life without parole is unconscionable. <gasps> the release is out! <sighs> oh, my gosh. Hi. Come here. Oh my God, oh my gosh. Just got it. <gasps> Governor Hickenlooper announces clemency for offenders, December, Friday 14th. Oh my God, I'm gonna look for Curtis's. It's 110 pages. Oh my God, oh my God, this is the most amazing. Yes! Woo! 
Okay, now, the statute in which Mr. Brooks was sentenced is unconstitutional pursuant to Miller v. Alabama. Granting this commutation is in the interest of justice. Grant of clemency. B and hereby is granted a limited commutation such that he is granted parole effective July 1st, 2019. He shall remain on parole for five years. Link has a collect call for you. Curtis? Yes. I've got the order in my hand. Curtis, it's amazing. You have a two-page letter uh, from Governor Hickenlooper to you. Sorry. This is about you, not me. So stop crying, Holland. Governor Hickenlooper says, Mr. Brooks, after learning about your case and your character, I am commuting your sentence by granting you parole effective July 1st, 2019. Well, it's officially official now. <laughs> yeah. I always felt like if I continued to just live a path of ignorance and not change, then he truly would have died for nothing. As a kid, I, everyone I touched, I impacted negatively. I want to be a person that impacts people positively now.